Yo, this is my review on the Sony PlayStation Vito. This is the PS Vito CM, and I'm going to do a review on it on the hardware and the software. So first off, um, it's got easy right trigger buttons. They're really cool. You like push them, and they use the art in games. Um, they have volume up and volume down. That I got here to use to put games in. Um, it's actually a little something there. Uh, it's got the power button. It's got these arrow, this D pad, which is really good. It's better than most D pads. It's got this um, analog stick. Well, oh, actually, these two. And these are way better than the ones in the PSP. Um, they're like actual ones on a DualShock 3, pretty much. Um, and then we've got X, Circle, Triangle, Square. These buttons are good. Start and CX, these are good. DS button is good. And it's like the whole thing. Then we've got the back, which has a Sony PlayStation logo. And this thing here is actually a touchpad. Similar to the touchpad you would find on a laptop computer, only you activate by the back. Which actually can get very annoying when you're playing games. Because you'll be holding it like this, and it will be touching the back. Which is why having something like this little grip here is extremely useful. Because now you hold it like this, like a controller, and it's, and it's way better. But anyway, we've got these memory cards here, which are basically required. Um, we'll talk more on these. These kind of... You see, it's a really small, probably 16 gigabyte, but we have a focus. 16 gigabyte. I've written out to let me know if it's my... Uh, and you know it's for... Uh, my main memory card and all that. Um, we've got a micro USB cable for charging. So yeah, yeah, let's just turn it on. Alright, now it boots off really quickly. Boom, it's on. And this is what you'll see when you first when you turn it on. Except maybe you won't see these games. These are games I have for it, um, but you know we have like the music app, and we have the we have the music app, which works works very well. Um, but I will not play any of the things on here because they are copyrighted. Um, we've got the video app, which is good. It works like a video app should. You can watch videos. Like this one. Yep, that about sums it up. <laughs> um, you have photos, which this thing actually has its own camera, but it's kind of shite. Uh, I've got I've got location data blocked, but um, yeah, yeah, and like you can click here, and it will show all the all all the pictures you currently have. Um, you can do a panoramic camera, which opens up this app here, which is actually hidden, but you can get it by kicking that button, which again requires things, but like, it, it works, you can like do panoramic pictures, which I'm not going to do, because this will be painting them up, but yeah, that's the panoramic camera mode, I have no idea what button that, what that just did, okay. Um, so yeah, that's the camera. We've got Content Manager, and this app lets you copy stuff to your computer, or just you put what's on your memory card. Right. Deal. We have Welcome Pack. This comes with every PS Vito. <laughs> Basically, it's like a free game that comes with every PS Vito. It's cool-ish. Comes with like, yeah, like tell us how you use your PS Vito. Um, got a calendar, which I'm pretty sure no one ever uses, but I've actually got some things in it, believe it or not. Um, it's randomly. Um, Got remote PA, PS3 remote PA. I've already done a review on this, but I'll go touch it briefly. Basically, you can connect to your PS3 
remote e via the internet or actually I don't know how to use the internet one but the private network one definitely works however it's kind of shit you can also use this cross control which I have no idea how to make work um, but yeah it's another one of those hidden apps then there's PS4 remote play which I hear is a million times better even by the fact that actually we can play many play all the games however I do not have a PS4 so not very useful to me you have settings, and this shows you change things, set, set, set things like do system updates, do network, Wi Fi, and all your, all your Wi Fi stuff, network connection tests, internet statuses, PlayStation network, devices, notifications, sounds, themes, location, data security. Date and time, language, accessibility, system, format, power save settings. Now, format is basically delete everything on your reader, so you don't really want to touch that. And yes, you're actually selling a reader. Um, your parental control, which um, is an interesting app. That I've made a video on how to bypass, by the way. Um, <laughs> but it's an interesting app that will let you block stuff. I could, I could, I could block the browser, right? I guess. And now if we were to go to the browser, it wouldn't work, it would just say it's not out. Um So Next you have email which works very really well, you can just well read emails. Except I have it set up. I normally do, but it's not set up at the moment. The browser. Now the browser does exactly what you expect. Browses the internet and it works very, 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 very well. Um, this is one of the best browsers I've ever seen on a handheld. So, like, I'll go Google, example, and it will come to Google. Um, we have Neo, which um, I think I actually have that disabled at the moment. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I have it disabled. Neo is an app that you also see what games being played nearby, who's nearby, all that stuff. And as you can see, um, I'm the only one in this area, so it's constantly saying that this game I have is the best thing ever. Basically, you click this button, <coughs> and you'll check for video loanies around the area. This. This is for people being here by. Oh. One person saying walking park, huh? One person saying. Anyway, um, that's that. We have the Friends app, which works very well. Hey, app me on PSN. Look at all that we are. Um, yeah, it basically it lets you add people, you play me on Yarn or something, add me on PSN right there, go for it. Um, um, it's Pally Chat, which lets you talk to people while mid, while mid game, which is pretty cool. There's probably none of them. Oh, um, I have messages, messages, which lets you message people over PlayStation Network. Or other reader owners, or PS4 owners and PS3 owners. Um, anyone from PlayStation, like PlayStation. PS Store, you can get games here. You can also get them from your phys physically, but most of my games are actually digital, which I don't really like because I'm very much a fan of physical copies. But yeah, you can you can get games here. Like you can go PS3 games. You know, you can go here, and you can like get pick a game or something. Like. And you can buy it. Um, we you have trophies, 
which basically is like some achievements you can get. Right, so like here, if you go PS3 your system, it shows the ones that are currently still on your system. And then if you click Escape PlayStation Network, it will show your PS4 and PS3 free trophies. It'll take a bit longer to go, but you'll see some stuff about PS3 and some, you know, PS4. Not that I have a PS4, but I've got some games that have PS4 trophies. Um, that's for that. That, that. Okay, yeah, that's all we've basically done there, but we've got some apps like Crunchyroll, which yet you watch anime. Not if I ever really use this, because I tend to just watch it off other sites. That, you know, actually give you a damn selection. Or I, like, you, if I do use this, though, I'll be using a free trial version, because it's really easy to get a million free trials. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can like watch, you can like watch anime. The yeah, I've tweet allows you is basically the Twitter app. These these two apps are only available on, are available on PlayStation Store. You can see. But then we have the games. Um. The games I have are all Japanese role-playing games, because that is just what I like to play. But overall, um, I rate this system a 9 out of 10, because although it has so much cool stuff on it, I have all games on it, there aren't actually that many players on, if you go on 9, there aren't many players on, on this, and also these memory cards, okay? <laughs> these memory cards are ridiculously overpriced. It costs 100 bucks for a 64 gigabyte memory card. This 16 gigabyte one, oh crap. Oh, there it is. The 16 gigabyte one I have actually came with my PSV though, so it didn't cost me anything. But the 64 gig one, which I'm actually going to need because this one's getting full, costs you 100 freaking bucks. And these are the only memory cards that work in it, and it's only work on the video, and you have to get them from Sony. Oh, that's ridiculous. You can buy a micro SD card that's like 5 terabytes for that price. That's ridiculous. But anyway, that is my review. That is the only thing I think I don't really like about PS Vito. Um, but yeah, that is my review on the PlayStation Vito. Thanks for watching.